God bless everyone. Today is 1 Chronicles 23, Sunday, April 11th, 2021. Yesterday we read 1 Chronicles 22, and it talked about preparations for the temple. One Chronicles 23, the Levites, when David was old and full of years, he made his son Solomon king over Israel. He also gathered together all the leaders of Israel, as well as the priests and Levites. The Levites 30 years old or more were counted, and the total number of men was 38,000. David said, Of these 24,000 are to be in charge of the work of the temple of the Lord, and 6,000 are to be officials and judges, 4,000 are to be gatekeepers, and 4,000 are to praise the Lord with the musical instruments I have provided for that purpose. Under my likes I highlighted, Praise the Lord. David separated the Levites into divisions corresponding to the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. Gershonites Belonging to the Gershonites, Ladan and Shimei, the sons of Ladan, Jehiel the first, Zetam and Joel, three in all, the sons of Shimei, Shalomoth, Haziel and Haran, three in all. These were the heads of the families of Ladan, and the sons of Shimei, Jahat, Ziza, Jiush, or Jiush, and Beriah. These were the sons of Shimei, four in all. Jahat was the first, and Ziza the second, but Jiush and Beri and Beri and Beriah did not have many sons. So they were counted as one family with one assignment. Kohathites The sons of Kohath Amram, Ishar, Hebron, and Uziel, four in all. The sons of Amram, Aaron and Moses. Aaron was set apart, he and his descendants forever, to consecrate, to consecrate the most holy things to offer sacrifices before the Lord, to minister before Him, and to pronounce blessings in His name forever. The sons of Moses, the man of God, were counted as, as part of the tribe of Levi. Under my likes I highlighted, to pronounce blessings in His name forever. The sons of Moses, Gershom and Eliezer, the descendants of Gershom, Shubael was the first, the descendants of Eliezer. Rehabiah was the first. Eliezer had no other sons, but the sons of Rehabiah were very numerous. The sons of Ishar. Shelomith was the first, the sons of Hebron. Jeriah the first, Amariah the second, Jahaziel the third and Jechamiam the fourth, the sons of Uziel, Micah the first, and Ishaiah the second. Merarites, the sons of Merari, Malai and Mushai, the sons of Malai, Eliezer and Kish. Eliezer died without having sons. He only had daughter. He had only daughters. Their cousins, the sons of Kish, married them. The sons of Mushai, Malai, Eder, and Jerimoth, three in all. These were the descendants of Levi by their families. The heads of families as they were registered under their names and counted individually. That is, the workers twenty years old or more who served in the temple of the Lord. For David had said, since the Lord, the, 
the God of Israel has granted rest to his people and has come to dwell in Jerusalem forever. The Levites no longer need to carry the tabernacle or any of the articles used in its service. According to the last instructions of David, the Levites were counted from those 20 years old or more. The duty of the Levites was to help Aaron's descendants in the service of the temple of the Lord, to be in charge of the courtyards, the side rooms, the purification of all sacred things, and the performance of other duties at the house of God. They were in charge of the bread set out on the table, the special flour for the grain offerings, the thin loaves made without yeast, the baking and the mixing, and all measurements of quantity and size. They were also to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord. They were to do the same in, in the evening. And whenever burnt offerings were presented to the Lord on the Sabbath, at the new moon feasts, and at the appointed festivals, they were to serve before the Lord regularly in the proper number and in the, pro in, and in the way prescribed for them. And so, or under my likes, I highlighted, they were also to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord. They were to do the same in the evening. I also highlighted, they were to serve before the Lord regularly. And so the Levites carried out their responsibilities for the tent of meeting, for the holy place, and under their relatives and descendants of Aaron, for the service of the temple of the Lord. God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. Amen.